Welcome to today's custom tactic video where we're going to take a look at the 4-3-3 fifth variation formation. Let's get into it. Now this formation is going to afford you a lot of possession and I really love it, especially with the center forward. He's able to drop back a little bit, get the ball and move around a lot more. Your wings are able to be a lot more free, get it behind and do a lot more dangerous crosses. So moving into the right and left wing, they're both gonna be identical with the stay forward and get it behind custom tactic. Nothing else will change about them. They're gonna be completely identical as you can see here. Now for their center forward, it's gonna be balanced with get them behind normal interceptions and press back line. I don't need anything else done with the supporting runs or interceptions. I just want this player to get in behind a press back line. However, he still will play a center forward role a lot more than a striker would. Now with my center midfielders, nothing is gonna change with these players. I don't want them doing anything different. I just want them playing the ball and moving it forward as best as possible. Now for my CDM, I'm gonna play this as a cut passing lane and stay back while attacking player. I don't need anything else crazy with them. I always want one player staying back. That way I don't get caught out on the counter. For our back line, there should be nothing new about this. This will always be stay back while attacking. I don't like my fullbacks pushing forward. I want them to stay back. I don't want to be caught on the counter, especially if you're going to play with this formation in the weekend league. Now let's move into our custom tactics. These are what I believe to be the best custom tactics for this formation. I chose our speed to be 55 and pass to be 46. The ball is already going to move very quickly. However, the players are already going to be in the position I want them to be in. I don't need them advancing too far forward. It just creates a lot of imbalance in this play style. Of course, this is going to be organized positioning. I don't want my center midfielders or my CDN to move out of position. I want them to stay where they're supposed to be. So that's why I chose organized for this. For our chance creation, I chose to pass me 54, crossing 57, and shooting me 59. I like my players to move around a little bit, but I don't need them moving around too much. That's why I chose 54 as a passing. It creates a nice little balance with this. I chose 57 crossing because we have wide players with this formation. So it gets my center forward into the position to receive a cross. As well, this allows my opposing winger to get into the box and position himself for a cross as well. And 59 shooting, I want my players getting behind and pushing up as high as possible. And the higher the shooting, typically it allows for that to happen as well. And of course, as this, I'm going to go with free form. I like to have chaos. I don't want my opponent to know what I'm going to do. And I don't want him having an easy time defending me. I chose to have 65 pressure and 63 aggression. With this type of formation, typically I found that having less pressure on the defense is a little bit better at times. I don't know why, it's just with the center mids and the CDM, it allows for a different type of play style. Then I went with 45 team width. I don't want them pushing too far, too wide. I like them to be a little more center and controlled. I like them going closer to the ball. Of course I want to cover. I don't need to have offside trap. I can control that. I don't need the AI doing that for me. So I appreciate you guys sticking out to the end of this video. In the future, I will be doing more detailed analysis with this. I'll be showing actual gameplay and just giving you a more greater understanding of why I chose this and why this is going to be the best for you guys if you choose to follow these custom tactics. As always, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of the video. Please subscribe to my channel. It motivates me to put in more work to this and put out better content. As always, like the video, get active in the comments, and deuces.